Good morning. Hey, it is Tuesday and I'm out on the Willoway Dock. We got some fantastic plants out here on the dock today. Let's take a walk. So first up here we have uh, Invincible and this one is Mini Mauvette. So this is uh, a proven winner Arborensis Hydrangea and it's got this uh, great looking tight compact habit and beautiful blooms. Mini Mauvette. So here we have a really nice uh, value here. This is a two gallon. These are Blue Rug Juniper. Wow, check these out. This is a nice order of uh, Cotinus. This is Winecraft Black. And uh, this is an improved Cotinus from Proven Winners. Gorgeous, nice, tight, compact plants here. Great color. Next up here we have uh, Paniculata Hydrangea. And this one is in the Bloom and Easy program. And this one is Lava Lamp Flare. And uh, you can see how nicely budded they are. This is when we want to ship them to you. Um, just budded, so then they open up in the store or in your garden. This is a beauty, lava lamp flare. Here we're looking at some of our uh, root bags and uh, these were Skyrockets junipers that were grown in the field and then come out in our root bag program and then we put them in a container and um, so you definitely want to remove the bag and there is actually a tag on each pot that tells you how to remove that but these are gorgeous full Skyrocket junipers. So this order is just starting to assemble and you can see there's a lot of really nice uh, 19 centimeter grasses available. We're looking at uh, Miscanthus gracilimus, we have morning light, we have zebra, hamlins, beautiful plants here guys. Check out the bud and bloom on these budlia. Man, these are uh, budlia Miss Molly and uh, they are loaded with color. We got a great selection of budlia and uh, this one is just beautiful. Check out our Bodleia. This one is Miss Molly. Spirea is another great summer color plant and uh, we grow the full series of Double Play as well as many others. This one happens to be Double Play Gold. Gives you that nice bright uh, yellow chartreuse uh, foliage with a pink flower. This one is Double Play Gold. Another uh, popular paniculata. This is the proven winner Little Lime. And again, you can see they're just starting to bud, and uh, these are going to be gorgeous on your lot. Little line. Here we're looking at a few uh, dissectum maples, you know, and we got a great crop of dissectums. And uh, here are azaleas. This is a sample of a three gallon azalea Karen. Here we're looking at some of our uh, seven gallon uh, limelight trees, and uh, very nice, full headed plants, good bud to them. Here we're looking at uh, Syringa Dark Purple in a three gallon. The grass there is Cheyenne Sky. And here we're looking at some Lavender Chiffon Hibiscus. And three gallons, holy smokes, look at the buds on those. More of the uh, Paniculatas. This one happens to be Bobo in a three. And I'll just kind of pan around here to show you this order. This is a very popular one. This one is Mr. Bowling Ball. Again, you can't go wrong with the Budlia this time of the year, and Miss Molly there is really showing off with again with a lot of nice blooms. Here we're looking at some of the bushel and berry um, blueberries. So a lot of folks may have missed out on the blueberry uh, crops in the spring, but we have uh, plenty to go right now. These are great, tight, compact uh, plants that provide sweet fruit that you can put in your garden and or a patio container. And then here we're looking at uh, Cotinus Royal Purple. You can see that nice, tight, compact plant there. And again, a lot of nice grasses coming up to the top. Here we see some uh, Coreopsis Red Satin, Geranium Roseanne. Lavenders are always looking really good this time of the year. Um, Hydrangea Pinky Winky. Again, the buds are just starting to form on those. There's some Carl Forrester grass there. And this is Pervoskia Blue Jean Baby. Now these birch are on the outside getting ready to go in. They're tying them up, but holy smokes, look at that. Those are 25 gallon heritage, and uh, you can see those nice big caliper on them. Good value. Again, here we have some pugsters, and this is the tight compact uh, selection, or collection, I should say, from Proven Winners. You can see they got those nice big buds on them. Nice compact there, getting ready to, to open up. That's what you want. We got a lot of great budlias. A little better shot at some of the blueberries again in the bushel and berry. And then we pan around here, the lava lamp flare and bobos. 
nice hydrangeas. Again, these are all budded, just budded. So that's what you want. It's just starting to show bud. These will open up very shortly in, on your lot or in your garden so you can enjoy them. Another nice uh, dwarf grass here is the Carrick's Everest. We have a few more Mr. Bowling Balls, but this is another proven winner um, double play series. This one is Big Bang. And again, this one's going to have a lot of nice color for you. It has some of the hues of orange and rust. Beautiful full three gallon plants. Double play. Spirea. You can see the guys are getting things ready here again. More of the Syringa Bloomerang and uh, the Pugsters. You see them on almost every order in the dock here. The tall uh, hibiscus is uh, Purple Pillar. And then another closer look at the Catinus Royal Purple. Here we have a nice boxwood. This is a newer one. This one is Little Missy. Tight, compact to have a plant there. Good value and shape on these. Buxus, little missy. There's a little block of uh, seed on Pure Joy. And again, they're just starting to bud up. These are just going to explode with color. More great looking grasses. This is a Carex. This is a newer one called Ever Lime. And a uh, very nice uh, plant here. And then here we got the great color. This is Hakanaloa All Gold. More of those beautiful, deep, dark, uh, Catinus uh, Winecraft Black. Then in the background here, we're looking at some three gallon. Those are boxes uh, green velvet. Nice three gallons there. And then we're coming back again to look at some uh, azaleas. And uh, again, these are Karens. So here we have more of the Geranium Roseanne. You can see those are all bud and bloom. Here we have a new uh, Nepeta. This one is Neptune. And then the Yarrow or Achillea there is uh, Strawberry Seduction. And then we see the buds coming up on uh, Allium, and that is Millennia. Wow, look at the plumes on these three gallon Hamlin grass. Wow, check it out. We got some more trees coming in. We had those uh, 25 gallon Heritage Birch, and then also these great looking 25 gallon uh, tulip trees come in. So, uh, you know, our new crop of container trees are getting ready to come on board. We're going to have some nice plants for you. So here are more 25 gallon ginkgos. The stunning color here that we got is uh, Thuja Fire Chief. This is our three gallon crop here. Very nice Wajilla Wine and Roses. Again, nice deep crimson color there. Here we have some Ilex. Look at those gorgeous plants. And then also a two gallon Fire Chief. So if you're trying to hit a price point, we got those in the background there, a bunch of the uh, Seven gallon limelight trees, and of course, the Japanese maples. I believe this is Tamayuki Ama. Check out those Ilex sky pencils. I mean, nice consistency of the block, good value. So, in the background, there we have uh, those are another arborensis that is Invincible Spirit, and that's, uh, that's a gorgeous plant. It's just loaded with flower buds, getting ready to show a lot of nice color. A little closer look on the uh, hibiscus, this is the uh, purple pillar, and again, there you have a lot of buds in. They haven't started to open up, but they're loaded with buds, and we'll see color here shortly. I'm just going to come in here and show you. I mean, you can see all the buds here coming up and down the stems. Very nice. Here we're looking at uh, Dianthus Paint the Towns. Those have been blooming all summer long, and they're, man, they're just gorgeous right now. I know they're just filling this bay here, but I had to show you. These are uh, two and a half inch, 45 gallon Crimson Kings. Here we have a pallet of 15 gallon Texas Captains, and we got a great price on those. And uh, you want to grab them while that price is out there, because these are exceptional value. We have a few of the, the garden mums coming in, and uh, these are beautiful plants. You know, we've got great crops coming on board right now. They're all uh, tight green budded. And again, these are exceptional size on these, loaded with buds, so you're going to be able to get these in and have them in color early. You can see the nice consistency of that crop. Holy smokes, look at all those buds. But they are tight green budded at this point. Beautiful plants. Here's another look at the uh, hibiscus lavender chiffon, and uh, I think you can see all the buds in there. They are just loaded with flower buds. Check out these three gallon Cranberry Creeks, man. These are just picture perfect plants. Nice consistency there. I'm gonna have to back up to show you these seven gallon uh, Hetz Columnaris. 
Here we have our 15 gallon, this is uh, Thuja Green Giants, and uh, they're very nice plants. Here we got another peek at the three gallon hydrangea bobos. Nice order of the three gallon uh, Buxus Green Velvet. And I think you can see how nice and consistent that crop is. Beautiful plants, good value. To pull one of these off, here we have our seven gallon mop cypress. Big, beautiful plants. I like Fertisolata or another uh, plant that people are going to start looking for for uh, fall color. You know, typically Ilex Fertisolata will bury heavily as you get in an older plant, but the containers will have some berry on them. This one happens to be berry pockets. There we have some uh, one gallon Carl Forrester, more of the blueberries, nice uh, knockout roses. You know, Stella Dior is still growing strong with a lot of bud and bloom. And then again, a lot of these nice garden mums are going out on the dock today. Beautiful. Another nice collar plant is the Juniper Old Golds. And I think you can see these three gallons. Nice fluff to them, heavy 15 18s. Well, these are got them tied on the pallet, so I don't want to take them off. But I think you can see the nice size and shape to those uh, seven gallon. These are Viburnum Denitatum Blue Muffins. So that has that uh, porcelain blue uh, fruit that will come on them. A little bit later this fall. Nice plant. Seven gallon blue moth. And we just tied these up, but we got some more container trees coming in here. These are bush form. These are Amelanchier Autumn Brilliance in a 20 gallon. Here we're looking at our seven gallon uh, boxes green velvets. Well, we've seen those really nice seven gallons, and uh, you know, these are also a good value as our three gallon mop cypress. Again, mops are a great color plant. These are heavy, three gallon mop cypress. Another peek at the Provoski, I believe that again is a blue jean baby. And uh, this is Monarda Sugar Buzz Cherry Pop. These wagons just come in, so I wanted to grab them while they're going in. Uh, here we're looking at our two gallon uh, raspberries, and that's raspberry shortcake. That's the thornless raspberry from Bushel and Bear. Still have a lot of nice roses. You can see here a lot of bud and bloom. These happen to be double pink knockouts. So here's an example of our Xberry azaleas. We got a great selection of Xberries, and as you can see here, they're nice, full plants. A lot of breaks on them. Good value. You know, a lot of grasses on the dock, but this one is a really nice one. This is uh, Shenandoah. You can see the night airy uh, plumes are starting to come up on these. Very nice, Shenandoah. Another great value in boxwood for landscapers. This is our seven gallon. This is Buxus Winter Gem. Look at that gorgeous plant. In the background there we've seen uh, Viburnum Summer Snowflake and those will continue to bloom uh, throughout the summer. And then here we're looking at a three gallon. This is Spirea Little Princess. I don't think you can go wrong on our three gallon nest spruce. That is an exceptional value. You know, many people would say that's a seven gallon and it's near in that size, but at the three gallon price. Beautiful three gallon nest spruce. We're looking at some of our 25 gallon green giants and I caught the back side of here so you can see the nice uh, the nice size on them but exceptional value they're tipping seven foot. Looking at two gallon Spirea Magic carpets and a nice collar on these uh, 19 centimeter one gallon Liriope Silvery Sun. You know there's a lot of mums going out on the dock today and I certainly would tell you if you got mums on order to grab them and again, they're green budded, but they are loaded with buds. They're going to come on quickly here, and uh, we're shipping them fast. Here we're looking at the nice variegated color. This is Daravilla Cool Splash. And in the background there, we have some Physocarpus. Those are tiny wines. Again, one gallon of Viscanthus variegated, and these beautiful three gallon Buxus Winter Gems. Holly, we've got plenty of nice. Uh, Holly, uh, you know, I would suggest maybe Royal Family or China Dynasty, so you're getting the male and female. In the background there are seven gallon Bloodgood Jet Maples. And then here we have uh, landscape size. Again, these are tied up, but these are seven gallon Burning Bush. Exceptional value on those right now. More of our three gallon Azaleas, you know, they're just a great uh, variety selection there. This is the Ilex Sky Pencils, as you can see. And then this is. Uh, Barberry, and this is Crimson Cutie from the Synergy Group and Worry Free. 
So this is the non-invasive Barberry. Beautiful plants. Good value on these. Barberry, Crimson Cube. We're looking at some very nice. These are three gallon Ramnus fine ones. Here we have the uh, peachy knockouts and they're just coming out of a trim but they're heavily budded so you're going to have a lot of color here coming up soon and uh, nice full plants. Down here we have sedum, those are lime zinger and the proven winner sedum pure joy. And then here we have uh, proboscia, those are blue jean baby. So you can see here she's checking in some of those beautiful uh, Japanese maples and then down below here we have uh, some poor carpus. And uh, these are coral berry, and you can see they're blooming right now. Look at all the buds. Those are going to come out to those beautiful pink and coral berries. This one happens to be sweet as a variety, but we got some nice and poor carpus for coral berries. So there we're looking at uh, seven gallon. Those are emerald green arborvitaes. We have some nice seven gallon pyramidal hollies. And again, container trees are starting to come in. Here we have some more of those 25 gallon uh, green giant. Thuja, this one is Father Gilla, Mount Airy, and then here we have some, uh, this is uh, Corsifolia, Hydrangea, this one's Ruby Slippers. The geranium that we're looking at is a new one from the Plants at Work program, and this one is Azure Rush, and so this is the, the sibling to Roseanne, because you can see it's, uh, it provides a little more tight, compact habit and more prolific in blooms. Azure Rush Dream. Another look at those grasses. This is uh, again Cheyenne Sky and then uh, Spirea Double Play Big Bang and then another peek at that Coreopsis uh, Red Set. Well outside the dock here just to give you a reminder we're looking at our quick turn B&B &B. and again we have some really nice field specimens available in stock right now. It'll be a little bit before we get into fall digging but if you got a job and you're looking for some nice big plants check out our field stock. Well that's a quick walk through the dock today. I think we've seen a lot of great looking plants. We got beautiful perennials, trees, landscape grade shrubs, and beautiful uh, summer and fall blooming plants. Be sure to get with our sales team. Geez, I hope we're loading this truck for you.